Hey guys, it's Morella. So today I'm going to give you my recommendations for the Sephora VIB and VIB Rouge sale. If you're a Rouge, you get 20% off. I'm not sure. I think it might be that VIB is 15% and then whatever is the other tier is 10%, but I'm pretty sure everyone gets a discount. And this is not like advertising for them or anything, but if you're not a part of the Sephora program, then you really need to get on it because really all it is is you earn points. It's not like a credit card or anything like that. And I freelance in Sephora's a lot. So I always try to explain to people if they're like, no, I don't want to sign up. I'm like, do it because all you do is earn points. Like what can you lose from that, you know? And then the more points you earn, you get like free gifts and then you get perks like this, you know? If you spend more money, you get a higher tier. So then you get to get more discounts and overall it just ends up paying off. So there's really no reason to not be a part of the program. I'm gonna give you my recommendations first and then I'm gonna do a shopping haul at Sephora and buy some really good stuff. I'm trying to think of what to start with. Basically, I'm just gonna show you guys things that I think are really, really worth buying. Some of my Holy Grail products or skincare items or tools. And a lot of these are on the pricier side. So when you have that 20% off discount, it is like, take advantage and buy it then, you know, because if I can save some money on something I know I'm eventually gonna buy anyway, then I'm all for it. So the first thing I wanna talk about are the T3 curling irons. This one is the interchangeable one. So you can actually take the barrels off. I will show you. And I have six different barrels that can go on this. Three of them have a clip like this, and then the other three are just wands. This is definitely on the pricey side, but it is one of the best curling irons I've ever used. This one is my favorite. It's a 1.25 inch. So if you're kind of iffy about it, like which size do I want and do I want to spend all that money? This one is my favorite if you guys want the recommendation for size. So if you like the 1.25 inch as well, there is actually one called a single pass Lux. And the barrel does not disconnect from the handle, but it's just basically this exact same curling iron, but doesn't come apart. I've had a lot of inexpensive curling irons and they are still good, like they work, they do the same thing to your hair overall, but they might not protect your hair from the heat as well and also they don't last as long. And I can tell you that from experience, unfortunately, because I've had so many curling irons over the years break on me, or even one I had fry my hair and I actually had to send it back to the manufacturer and then they sent me a new one. Just a mess. So with T3, I have the curling irons, the flat iron and the hair dryer. And overall, they are my favorite hair tools. They're just so, so good. So good that my sister steals mine like every day. So if you guys are on the market for a new curling iron, definitely try that one out. Next, I talk about this all the time, I know, in like nearly every video. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This entire line smells great. So they sell it at Sephora. I'm not sure exactly where else you can get it. It's Sol de Janeiro. And if you go into the store and smell it, you'll see why I love it so much. It is just like the most delicious, sweet, whipped smell. It smells like buttercream or something, but like not gross. And then a little bit tropical as well. I'm not good with descriptions, let's be real here. So to keep it short and sweet, basically, it smells delicious. I love having this on my body and feeling like I smell this good, you know? It's just, it makes me so happy. The only thing is this tub of body butter is $45 normally, so when you save the 20%, it's 36. So mine is about half empty, but I spent full price on it the first time, and it was like kind of hard for me because $45 for a lotion, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? Who am I? But I did it anyway because it's that good. So if you're one of those people that is just so in love with delicious scents and you want a really, really good body butter, this is awesome. Another thing is it's infused with like an extremely high potency caffeine. It's from Guarana extract. And that is supposed to tighten your skin, um, tighten any cellulite that you might have. This is also a fast absorbing lotion. So when you put it on your body, you don't stay greasy or sticky or oily. It just feels hydrated and it's the best. Highly recommend. Next, I'm gonna talk about skincare. Skincare is so important to me. You guys know when I struggled with acne, I was just really down about it because I take such good care of my skin and I try really hard. So I'm gonna tell you some of my skincare secrets. This oil here, the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil is $80 for this bottle, 80. So you gotta save the money on it. So you gotta get it during the sale because it is expensive, but it works so well. I have tried so many different acne products and I feel like nothing works as well as this one as fast as this one. It's like you put it on a spot or you put it on a breakout overnight and in the morning it's just significantly clearer. I don't like suggesting things to you that I think are overpriced for no good reason. Like there are luxury items at Sephora, of course, that you can use this discount on, but realistically, when it comes down to it, you don't need those things. Like. 
do I need a super expensive eyeshadow palette when I can get one for like 20 bucks from ColourPop? No, not really because realistically no one's going to be able to tell the difference on my eyes. When it comes to skincare, I don't play around. This is super important to me and it works. Definitely worth it to get it with a discount. Next, another thing, I also use this line and I feel like my lights might be washing this out. I apologize if that's the case. This is the Belief, Believe in Truth Problem Solution Toner for troubled skin, yes. This is a K-Beauty line. Um, I have this toner, the serum, and the moisturizer as well, all for acne-prone skin. But not only am I acne-prone, I'm oily too, and they really help. It doesn't have any mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, synthetic dye, synthetic preservatives, animal origin ingredients, vegan, ethanol, alcohol, and it is also dermatologically tested. This line preserves the moisture in your skin while also battling your acne or your oiliness. So I really like that because a lot of acne products just dry you out so bad and it's like, all right, well, the pimples are gone, but now I look like the desert. So if Sunday Riley is still a little too pricey for you and you're like, okay, yeah, I'm saving 20%, but like I can't spend that money, totally understand. Try the Belief line, it is more affordable and the Problem Solution line is good for acne as well as the Sunday Riley oil. Next, I'm so sorry if the lights are washing it out. I'm trying to still find my happy medium ever since I moved into this house with my lights. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. It has six rare African oils in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, watch a lot of my videos on here, then you'll know I love Drunk Elephant. It's really probably my favorite skincare line. Although they do have a limited number of products, so it is kind of more for like certain skin types, which is why I like to branch out like with Sunday Riley and Belief. If you want to spoil yourself and get just the best moisturizer ever, this. Oh. After I tried this, I feel like no other moisturizer can compare and I'm oily. This is an intense, thick moisturizer. So that would lead me to believe it's for dry skin, but I swear anyone can use it. And you know, the secret of oily skin is combat oil with oil. So if you're oily and your skin just like never stops producing that excess oil, try something like this. Try even the Drunk Elephant Marula oil. If I were to recommend any moisturizer to anyone ever, it would be this. The oils in this do not break you out. So I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, am I gonna get pimples because it has six oils in it? doesn't happen. I used the toner today. I used this today. Definitely used my lotion and the Sunday Riley oil. So pretty much like everything I've shown so far I have used. I tried to be like your example today in case you want to buy anything. Next, let's talk about makeup. So I am a little biased about Cover FX because I have been trained in Cover FX. So I know everything about the products and I know how good they are. I feel like Cover FX is a little bit slept on in Sephora. It is usually kind of like hidden in the back and a lot of people don't know the benefits of the products and how well they work. But trust me when I say this, okay? If you are obsessed with Laura Mercier setting powder, just try the Cover FX Perfect setting powder. It is so nice. I wear it every day, especially under my eyes. Um, for the most part, like on my T-zone, I actually set with the Cover FX matte setting powder, but I'm super oily. This one is for anyone. So if you're watching me and you have dry skin or normal skin or oily skin, you can use it. I always say if like if you have that holy grail powder if it's a competitor brand in Sephora just try this one and if you don't like it Sephora has a really good return policy so I'm sure you can just exchange it for your other favorite but I've never heard anyone say that they don't like these powders they're great in so many ways but they don't contain talc so if you're using that white powder and you notice like yeah it sets my makeup really well but when I take pictures I have that really bad flashback or I just have like white patches on my face try this it will not give you any flashback and it is picture perfect. It comes in two colors as well. There's translucent light and translucent deep. I'm sure you can tell it's not white. It's kind of just like a very soft beige color, which makes the most sense to me because whose skin is actually literally pure white? No one. Now, since we're on the topic of cover effects, I wanted to mention the high performance setting spray. I'm not a setting spray person. I don't know, just most of them do absolutely nothing for me. I notice on my clients because I'm just in case you guys don't know, I do makeup. And also I feel like it gives people peace of mind. Like this is the final step to finish my makeup. I'm gonna spray my face. For me, I never do on myself until I found this one. I've talked about it in a favorites video before. So if you guys want more info on it, then you can check that out. I talk about a lot of things that Sephora carries in my favorites videos, but this is only one of, I believe, three setting sprays in Sephora that claims to be 24 hour wear. The other two are Kat Von D and Urban Decay All Nighter. The only difference is this one doesn't contain alcohol. So basically, it's the best. I don't wanna go on and on and on, but I think it says something if I don't like to wear setting spray until I found that one and then I was like, 
this is amazing, you know? Next, this one is also on the pricier side and that's why I wanted to include it. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Long Wearing Concealer. I'm wearing the color 1C today. I also like 1N, but 1N is neutral, 1C is cool. And today I woke up and I was like, oh, these bags under my eyes. So on those days when I have like darkness, I always use the cool toned or pink toned concealer. Concealer is a really hard thing for me to fall in love with because I have very liney under eyes. It creases pretty bad under there. A lot of them don't last. I'm oily, I get texture with certain concealers, like I'm pretty picky when it comes to concealer. And a lot of my viewers have shared with me that they feel the same way, like it's really hard for them to really love a concealer. It's like so many people will love this and then they say it doesn't work for them, so I relate. This one is very long wearing. I've been wearing it all day, let's see, probably since 9 a.m. and it is 6.30 p.m. So if that gives you an idea. It's also very opaque without being thick. Like I never put this on and feel like it's cakey or too dry or it doesn't blend well. Overall, great concealer, one of the best ones that I've ever used. And I know Laura Mercier isn't cheap, so take advantage of that sale. Next is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is another one of those items that I'm showing you guys that isn't incredibly pricey. It's like not terrible, but saving money is saving money, so why not, you know? I use this every single day, total holy grail product. I used to use other eyebrow mascaras until I found this and I was like, literally nothing compares. This is, how do I put it? It's kind of a stiff eyebrow gel. And if you have very long or very unruly or just very messy eyebrows naturally, like me, you will love this. It's like hair gel before your brows, but it's not that like crunchy texture. And also if you brush through your brows, it's not going to flake. There are a lot of brow gels that I honestly feel like do pretty much nothing because if you touch your brow, the hairs still move a lot. And this one really keeps them in place. So I have this issue with if I have my hair like this, where my bangs are kind of like out in front of my face, it will push my eyebrows down and push my arch down. And then it ends up looking like bald at the top because the hair got pushed down and I'm like, that is not cute. So I have to use this every day. If I don't, I'm really sad. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my brow gel. Another product I highly recommend, just total holy grail. Now, lastly for the makeup products, I kind of was like, hmm, should I include a lip product? And I was like, well, I don't really have any luxury lip products from Sephora. Then I remembered, so I'm wearing it today. The Hourglass, what are they called? I have another one and I still don't know the name of them. Anyway, they are these lipsticks that look like a little old fashioned like cigarette holder. My favorite color is If Only. So I wore it today to show you guys. These are pricey and very luxurious and I only have three colors. And I probably wouldn't purchase more unless I was like restocking on a color I love just because I can't justify that price when I have like 2000 lipsticks, you know? But if you were looking for a great everyday go-to lipstick that is creamy and hydrating without being messy, without transferring, without coming off in the middle of the day that just like really stays put and just looks beautiful and feels so nice on the lips, try these. Oh my God. I recommend them, I swear, to like everyone when I'm in store. I love these for brides. I don't normally notice a huge difference in very cheap lipsticks versus very expensive lipsticks. Like really how many things can you do different to a formula, you know? But if you're feeling like spoiling yourself, just try these. Next, I wanted to include a hair product. I'm wearing this in my hair today, but I mean, it. you probably just can't tell. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. First thing you probably notice is that the packaging is adorable. Second thing you will notice upon usage is that it smells so good. It smells so fresh and clean, but also kind of sweet, kind of citrusy, kind of fruity, kind of floral, like I'm just in love. It does have a tiny bit of a white residue. And personally, even though I have brown hair, I don't find issue with that because I feel like most of them that don't have a white residue, like just don't work. So if you get a little bit of white and then you just kind of, you know, spread it through your hair, like, is there really a problem? Because I have it all in my hair and you guys can't see it, you know? So not an issue for me, but it really does make my hair look and feel clean. So I like that a lot about it. The other dry shampoo that I'd recommend if for any reason, maybe they don't carry Amika at your store or maybe you don't like the smell or something, you know, just if there's any problem getting this one. The Perfect Hair Day or PhD by Living Proof. It's in a gray bottle is also really good and also makes your hair feel so clean and look clean and smell so good. It almost smells like citrusy lemon fruity pebbles or something. And then the last thing I wanted to recommend to you guys to buy with the sale is a perfume. I have one of my favorite perfumes from Sephora here. It's not my all-time favorite fragrance. My all-time favorite fragrance is not carried at Sephora. In case you guys are wondering, this one is Margiela Replica Beach Walk. It's supposed to smell like the ocean and the sand and just remind you of a beach. But the reason why I wanted to recommend buying a perfume or a fragrance is because it's rare that you would save 20% on a bottle that can be like, I don't know, just 
guessing 60 to 200 dollars so you're saving a lot of money on that and i think during these sales it's best to get the things that are like really pricey because realistically if you're just getting a smaller lipstick or a mascara you're not spending so so much to where the 20 percent really makes a difference but on an item that is very expensive it does make a really good difference all right guys so that's it for my recommendations if you're ready to go shopping with me at sephora let's go now I'm heading to the mall to see what I'm gonna get at Sephora for myself because I gave you guys the suggestions and now I'm like, hmm, what do I need? All right, I'm here. What do I want? So I was going to get this for my sister but in the single pass Lux, not the convertible because I have the convertible but she only uses the 1.25. So this comes with the 1.25 inch, but it's more expensive, and if she doesn't need to change the barrel, then there's no point. So I'm kind of disappointed, because I think you can only use the discount once. Stocking up on my UFO Sunday Riley Clarifying Oil, the best thing ever. Wondering if I need more hair products. I did run out of quite a few things. I think I'm going to get a beach club, because I'm never going to get it for this price, so might as well. Hair products are one of my favorite things to splurge on because I get makeup in PR and I don't get like as many hair products or as many body products, so those are my favorite things to buy. Okay, now I'm heading over to Sol de Janeiro. My favorite thing ever. If you guys have not tried it yet, you need to try it. And I'm gonna smell some of the other products because I might wanna get like a body spray or something, but I already have the lotion, so maybe I can restock, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet. All right, I think I'm gonna get it because I told myself I wanted more stuff, so. Okay, I changed my mind, I'm getting another one. Skincare is my obsession. Amazing, 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 amazing. This face wash, I love it, the Juju Bar. I watched Kathleen's video and she said that the new NARS mascara is really good, so I kind of want to try it, but do I need new mascara? No, I have like 40. If you are looking for a good lip color, these lipsticks are just the perfect formula and they're so beautiful. My favorite is If Only, this color right here. All right, I think I got everything I'm gonna get. All right guys, so I ended up spending $197, which is still kind of a lot, but I needed to stock up anyway, but I saved $45, so pretty good. So here's what I got, it is the volumizing spray. I love this. I've talked about it in a lot of other videos in case you guys didn't know. The body spray, which smells exactly like the lotion. The lotion, of course, I couldn't help it. I'm just so obsessed. My clarifying oil, which I'm not out of yet, but I'm like kind of close to being out of it, so I figured that I'd stock up. A YSL the shock mascara because they didn't have the NARS one but this one is like my favorite high-end mascara ever so you know just kind of had to splurge and spend the money and then lastly this was included in my purchase but this is actually for my mom she wanted to try a new lip plumper all right guys so that is it for my recommendations and my haul I hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up for me please subscribe to me if you haven't already and as always thank you so much for watching bye